Greetings, and welcome to Lords of the Fallen. I love this game. Absolutely love this game. You know, I hadn't even heard of it. I guess it came out sometime in, like, 2014, like, near the end of there. And I guess that's understandable, since I didn't have my PS4 until last summer. I kind of stumbled upon it, and thought, oh, that looks like it's be something that I would enjoy. And, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this game is the shit. And apparently there's others that don't quite agree, but their opinion doesn't matter to anyone relevant anyway. You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, but this game's, this game's really awesome. I've been through it a few times. And yeah, thought to myself, this is YouTube worthy for sure. And so we're going to play the game after I set the gamma here. I just want to make sure that it's bright enough here on the video. And we're going to enjoy the shit out of it, because this game is fucking awesome. And totally underrated. Yeah, there's a couple of minor things, but for the most part, it's, it's all good. Now, obviously, Warrior is supreme. At least, that's my opinion. I've played the Rogue, I've played the Cleric, but the Warrior is my favorite, straight up. Warrior set with Brawling, that's the shit. And we're going to see why when we get into it. Because, you know, I'm terrible at it. And you'll see just how freaking bad I am at this game. But at the same time, the warrior just makes terrible players like me have a chance. <laughs> These load screens are pretty awesome, too. Because, yeah, you can get hints and stuff. But I think here's the opening scene. So I'm just going to stop babbling for a moment. Yes. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. to say that Harkin is like ten times more badass in that cutscene than he ever will be while I'm controlling him. <laughs> I'm not even kidding about that. That that opening scene is just awesome. The monastery's ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here.
Rogue Arm Marauder, the first enemy we'll face, and then there's this tutorial, which I don't need to look at this shit, but I'm going to leave it on the screen just in case you guys really want to see it. It teaches you the combat basics, which is cool that they do that. Obviously, it's so nice for them to just kind of stand there and move slowly so that you can get acclimated for the game's combat. More or less, if you're familiar with Dark Souls, then it's really a similar style as far as the combat goes. Like, item and magic use is completely different. Great. We done with that guy? Good. I have control now, yes, and we have the warrior's armor, which I love the warrior armor because it has a cave. <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> oh. You're still losing blood, Kaslo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. Gee, thanks, Kaslo. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. So far, I've seen only corpses. No survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps. Or a key. Right, so the first thing I need to do is find a key to that door. And that's what we're gonna do. I wonder if I can get up here yet. Um, I might need a key, I don't know. Let's jump over here and see if I can get this yet. I'm gonna smash that. Sometimes you can find items, like consumable items, in uh, the furniture. So, don't be too surprised if I start smashing furniture, because it's based on your luck stat, which as a warrior I have a zero default luck stat, which I don't care about, but still, you can find shit without luck. I'll talk about stats when it's relevant, but these things are nice. When you die in this game, you know, it's kind of like Dark Souls, but instead of leaving a blood stain, you leave... I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. You leave your ghost, and that's where your experience is, so you have to go back and get it, but it's on a timer... It's brilliant, but you'll see it when I die, because you know what, like I said, I'm ass, I'll get killed, eventually. Probably not by anyone in this first area, but I will get killed. Look at this guy. These things are blind, I guess. Which is okay with me, it makes me easy to fight. I'm just gonna, like, swing my sword at him. The warrior's shield is 100% physical block, which is good. That's another reason to take the warrior, even if you don't like the warrior class, because you can block all damage with the shield. So these weapons early on are just garbage. <laughs> like, for example, I'm a warrior and I gotta hit this thing like four times to kill it. I mean, come on, that's just not right. E ideally, we're gonna be using big weapons and just killing shit in one to two hits later on, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. We're gonna love it. Thus is the way of the warrior. Look at these idiots. You see me? Yeah, you do. Oh wait, you can't see me. Give me a stupid. Oh look at that, I actually got hit. Oh well, shit happens. I came down here for a reason, even though this is not where I need to go. There's an item down here that I want. Some of you are probably wondering now how much do I actually know about the game, because those that have played it, and played it several times, uh, probably do know more about it than I do. Uh, there is a lot of hidden shit in this game. I mean a lot. There's tons of side quests. And the way that it works is they're not tracked. And you have no way of remembering that you even activated them aside from the conversation you may have had with somebody. Or the audio log you may have collected. Look at that. Item in the environment. See? Oh, those are beautiful. Thank you. Uh, for later in the game, of course. So, you wouldn't even know that you have side quests active if you're not paying attention to, say, the dialogue with other people or the logs that you pick up and listen to. 
and there's just there's a ton of them. There's easily over a dozen side quests that all reward experience or items. It is in me. Speaking of the and first it is audio log, me. my skull, the bones are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins, more like liquid darkness. We Since have seen with others what happens next. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother William, Brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. We will choose death before it chooses us. Aha, see what I'm talking about? You get items out of the furniture, but... Uh, these blind guys, they're not Rogar. They're actually people who were infected. I'm not exactly sure what the infection is from. Maybe it's from the Rogar weapons. But it causes them to mutate it. Or no, it's... I know what it's from. Yeah, I had to think about it for a second, duh, because like I said, I've completed the story. And we'll actually find out at the end what causes these people to mutate into these things. It's been a while since I have played the game, I'm being honest. That's why I'm like, oh, it really takes... I, mean, I have to hit him this many times. But did you see the uh, Dear father, orange flash there on my energy? Fires on the horizon. They are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something Let evil is happening. Finish. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here, in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please, be safe. Anyway, that orange flash you saw in my energy bar meant that I had timed the attacks perfectly, so it was requiring less energy to make the next attack. I, it's not really something that's that big a deal unless you're using a weapon that uses high energy. And it's kind of be tricky to time depending on the weapon. The, the right time to make your next attack or your next button press. And magic shards, cool, I won't use many of those throughout the game. Is to, uh, once you finish the exact instant the attack finishes when you press a button again. And then you get that perfect harmony or whatever. Yes, these challenge portals will do some of those, but we have a marauder up here who wants to say hello to me. I'm gonna backstab him. Ha, <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Doesn't even kill him. As I say, still have this weak-ass steel sword. What I find interesting, the warrior's strength stat starts pretty low. I'm two-handing now. But it's okay, we'll fix that. Energy shard, thank you. And, oh, by the way, when I was down in the cellar, I did get the key I need. But we can talk to... Er, These did things we? keep yeah. coming. We, did get we fight key. back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. Burned, and it burns deeper into me. Now you probably saw that I got an empty bottle down there, right? That's what I was getting in that hidden I room. I found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. I could use some help. We can have yeah. Caslow fill it. This for might us. be useful. Now notice my potion count. I have three health potions now. Yeah, the number of health potions you can carry is based on the number of empty bottles you possess. And there are some side quests, which I'll get back to talking about them in a minute, because I kind of realized I didn't finish, uh, require you to give up a potion bottle. But you find more as you go through the game, etc. I think on average I finish the game with like eight. And that's if I do the quests that require a bottle. I don't know. We'll have to see. Here's the first lord. Yeah, you're not impressed, neither am I. 
That is a cheap shot, though. His shield bash does not do damage. It just knocks you back and drains your stamina. Very easy boss. Um, even though I'm, like, super encumbered in my heavy armor and shit, so I can't roll for shit. I mean, I can, but I'm fat rolling. So we're just gonna block everything. The only attack it has that needs to be rolled from is the overhead shop because it does stupid damage. And I don't think I can block it. His shield, like mine, I believe is 100% damage resist, so that's why I can really hit him with his shield. That one, you gotta roll that. See, did you see my fat ass roll there? <laughs> yeah. Gotta cut back on the pizza and beer crash now. Yeah, just too damn fat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, this is pitiful. Anyway, we got the boss. Oh, there's an armor already. That's good. Well, I beat him without taking damage. But if you can, I think you get a legendary version of this. I've, I've never done it. I'm just too bad at the game. But, um, as far as what about the quests, I, I do know about, of a lot of them. And I'm going to do the ones that I do know of. But, I don't know all of them. And honestly, I don't really give a shit if people post in the comments and tell me about shit that I've missed. I really don't care, because like I said, I've played through this game three or four times. i found what I've found, and you know what, if, I, if there's something I'm missing, feel, you know, I don't give a shit if someone spoils it for me, because like I said, I've already been through the game a few times, and you're not really spoiling it. <laughs> and that, and besides the fact that this video will go up after I finish the gameplay anyway, so it's like, like, I can go back and check on it on my next New Game Plus run. Which, playing on New Game Plus is kind of fun too, because then you get more spell trees. Oh, did you have to do that? Notice how his armor is going away the more damage he deals with. It's, it's kind of cool, actually. It's like, oh, it trashed his armor. Oh, don't be there. That sword attack has a uh, shockwave effect, too. So if you're anywhere near it, it will damage you, even if the blade itself doesn't hit you. Oh, look at that, I got hit. Oh, well. Yeah. We're not getting his legend sword. I think he hit me before, too, but it wasn't good. Miss Bob. I'd really like to beat him without having to use a health potion, but I might have to. Not that that's a big deal. There's a save crystal. But yeah, we don't use bonfires, obviously. We'll use crystals instead, which is kind of like a bonfire equivalent, or lamp equivalent if you're thinking one more. Uh, and that's where we'll save, or that's where we we'll activate checkpoints and such. We'll also level up the character. We don't do all that kind of fun stuff. Just wait for an opening. I kind of want him to do the overhead chop because it's easier to hit him after that. And I'm not liking the fact that I have no energy here. Thanks, Bob. I'm going to use a potion now. We'll just back away for a second. Why did I not use there we go. Yeah, now we want to stay the hell away from him, because this, I think, can go around my guard. Well, his stamina, he'll block, he'll, he'll break my block anyway. I won't have the stamina. La la la. That's not good. I, I really don't want to be anywhere near him when he goes into his whirlwind attack. Stay back because of that backswing. And he's done. Okay. Yes, a park and absorb something from the spirit. It is a badass scene, though, every time you kill a lord. What was that? That was One the first lord. Lords no. I should still get his sword. Yes, I do. Okay. 
that's what we're going to be using next because it's better <laughs> it, it, strength requirement of 15 I believe that's what it says I, I might have a hard time reading these tiny preview screens but that's okay we're gonna get that right now here's the checkpoint where we raise our character and such activating it Ooh, I gotta talk about experience modifiers too um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put all the dump all my experience into attributes and put it all in strength. I'm still a little short of the 15, but that's no big deal. Um, when I recorded this, I was thinking I was, I was just thinking no, I'll just talk about how I'm gonna grind it off real quick. But I'm not really gonna grind it off. I'm just gonna go do the challenge portal out here, and after doing that, I will have the experience I need to use the sword. Because when you go through these challenge portals, it counts as leaving the area, and anytime you leave an area and cause the game to zone or load, all the enemies respawn. So, yay! That's where we're at with that. So, to this challenge portal, which this, this isn't even really a challenge, I think I just get three chests in here and we're done. Which, I'll take that. That's... it's easy. What is in this first chest? Oh, nice! Another empty bottle. <laughs> I'll take that. And then we get this uh, first trinket too that helps magic regenerate faster. Which I have—I don't even have magic yet. Warrior doesn't start with magic unlocked, so we have to uh, get that. Well, we got a shield. Another ghost bird shard. Good. Nice. 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 Those energy shards will become common. I think I'll have a bunch of those before too long. I think eventually I kind of like show what everything does, but I don't remember. Maybe I'll cut that out. It bits irrelevant. But those give you a faster energy regeneration. Magic does that. Yeah, faster magic regen. Guess what? The enemies all respawned. Right, so do I want to kill him? No, I'll kill this boss first. Need a little bit of experience, like I think a few hundred, two or three hundred, to get that strength where I want it. So I can use the green sword. Haha, I stabbed you in the back. See, yeah, look at how many times I gotta hit these monsters. This is not acceptable. <laughs> I'm just picking away at them, more or less. And no, we gotta kill them a lot faster than Marauders should be going down in, like, well, ideally, two hits. <laughs> Four hits on these guys, and these are, like, peons. So, yo, we dropped some. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. We'll take that energy shard. Thank you very much. I'm gonna get those just for shits and giggles. You know, what if there's a shard in there that I can use later? Hi there, Bob. That's right. You just take a nap. I want you experience. Notice how every time I kill something, I, I have an experience modifier. I haven't spoken about that yet. Every time you kill an enemy, your experience modifier increases. So you're getting a bonus of, you know, 1.00, then 1.001, then 1.002. And it goes up by 1% every time you kill something. Until... Now this was just recently changed. But it continues to do that until you use a checkpoint and refill your potions and your health. In early builds of the game, uh, actually I think it was even last year before I, it was, I want to say before the last patch or maybe the one prior, your experience modifier did not reset when you used checkpoints. It wouldn't reset unless you banked it towards attributes or spells. I imagine that was done on purpose though because, you know, you can just keep filling your health and your potions but your experience doesn't modify or didn't reset. You could really rack up a lot of XP really fast. I imagine they felt that was probably I, I can't blame them for it, because it kind of is when you get the modifier up to the max, which, if anybody's wondering, the max XP modifier is 2.00. So, you know, double XP is the max you can get. 
And getting double for some of these enemies is... Yeah, it's overpowered. <laughs> you can level up really freaking fast. Although those attribute points get insanely expensive. Late game. Because, uh... I don't know if you... I don't know if you had time to notice when I leveled up there. Uh... The cost... Of... I don't know why I'm putting it towards a spell point there. That probably wasn't very smart. I do want to unlock prayer eventually and open my spell tree, but it's not a priority. Priority for this character is strength. 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 I do need to get faith to 21, though, so I can access all the spells, because Quake is really useful endgame. Um... Endurance we need to have up there too, so that I have more energy and can use my big weapons and wear my heavy-ass armor. And, well, vitality a little bit because I need a little more hit points. But strength, 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 that's priority. Because we're going to be using big-ass weapons and we're going to be crushing shit. Like, look at this! Crush these things now with this sword. And the audio bugged out. This is very uncommon. It still happens. Sometimes the audio will just... Well, the voice audio will bug out. So what I'm probably going to do is go to this checkpoint down here and restart the game. Because that'll fix it. It's not that big of a deal. But it's annoying. You, you, you want those the audio there. Because, you know, I'm not reading that to you. I can't read it on my small preview screen. <laughs> Look at this big idiot. Two hits, exactly. That's all it should take to kill a marauder. Two hits when you're a warrior. Big weapons. Big weapons are fun. Plus, I love the look of the sword with the flaming effect. Look at this asshole. <laughs> okay. Here's a good rogue weapon right here. This should be the monk staff. I can use it, too. Because it's... It's an agility scaling weapon, but I think the requirement is only 8. Yeah, I can use that if I wanted to. But, no, we're not going the agility route. We're going straight up strength, 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 big shit, big shit that hits hard because that's fun. <laughs> You'll see what I mean, you've already started to. Again, not reading that to you, sorry, I'll just have to read the screen because I can't read it. It's really, really tiny on my Vegas preview screen. Not even shitting you guys. But I'll just sit here for a second and let you read it. Mm. Am I going to take this wall out? Yeah, I might as well. We're not really going back here. I'll tell you why in a second. Goodbye, wall. Uh, yeah, we'll take that out. And I'll take this key. Yeah. We're not going down there yet. Uh, no, Crash, don't. No, go down there. Don't be an idiot. Giant spiders down there. I'm not ready for them. They will fucking murder me badly and make me look like a complete dumbass. I don't need any help with that. Another audio lock. Don't really care. Blah, 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 la, la, la. Again, let you read it. You know what? I missed a chest, too. Uh, do I really feel like going back for it? I think it's the rogue gear. Nice thing is that they give you access to the all three equipment sets right away in the game. Like, I'd have to kill the first warden. You get the cleric and the rogue set if you're playing the warrior. Well, you get the rogue and the cleric. Or the rogue and warrior set if you're playing the cleric, except. Yeah, screw you there, Bob. So which set is this? Yeah, it's a cleric set. So the rogue set's upstairs. Do we really feel like going back for it? No, but I'm going to anyway. Just, just like I can say, I have it. La, 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 la. Yeah, it's right here. There's a rogue set, right? Which is light armor, obviously. See, if we were wearing that, we could fast roll. Well, probably not with this great big sword, but it would be easier to. I realize I'm missing the key here uh, in the stairwell. I don't care. I'll go back and get it. I want to fix the audio bug first. Besides, I'm not quite done there yet. Now that I'm zoning, leaving, going outside, all the enemies in there will respawn if I go back in there.
So, yeah, I mean, there's one of the tips that says that you can't grind. That's bullshit. You can, too, grind by just going from one area to another. You don't need to, really, though. Unless you're playing a rogue, then I find that it's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to use a save crystal and be right back.